are you sure you are right the choices which you are making the decisions which you are making the words which you are using in front of others do you think all these are right always theodore roosevelt the distinguished man of 20th century he is considering himself that he has reached his best if he can take 75 percentage right decisions all the time just imagine he is considering himself best when he is able to take 75 percentage right decisions now do you think you and me can be always right that is 100 percent if a person is able to take the right decisions at only 55 percentage it is told he can make a million dollars in a day so if we are not sure that we can be right a minimum of 55 percentage then why are we trying to prove others that he is wrong i am right i am smart when i was small i used to say others that i am going to prove you that you are wrong basically the same sentence can be used in a different way also i am going to prove you that i am right basically we want to prove others that we are right now in both the cases if you notice you are trying to prove the other person is dumb and you are trying to prove that you are smarter than them do you think anybody is going to accept in the world yes you are smarter than me do you think so that they are going to agree and if so then we are the dumbest person to accept this thing now if so does it mean that we should never prove anybody yes we can prove anybody but never let it out never tell this that i am going to prove you that you are wrong never tell this but we can do it you know silently without anybody knowing about this always remember these golden words maybe i am wrong now when we know that the opposite person is saying something totally wrong but we should not point out because it is going to hurt their self-esteem so in this way when we say you know you are actually putting one step down but you are not putting them down so maybe i'm wrong and then when you start saying what is there in your mind basically the opposite person also wants to be fair and he also wants to admit his mistakes if he had done any mistake he is going to be open-minded and receptive to whatever you say so always use these golden words which is maybe i am wrong there was a car dealer who was managing so many employees and he used to feel angry because customers are coming with a lot of complaints at that time he used to say no you are wrong in this way he lost so many customers now he thought let me change this tactics so when any customer comes with anger with a lot of complaints you know what he used to say my service executives have done mistakes in the past maybe they have done mistake this time also so i'm very sorry for that i'm ready to hear what is the problem please tell me maybe the mistake is on my side so when he tells these words the customer after letting out the complaints he goes down to the normal state because the other person has already accepted that there is a possibility that the mistake is on their side now the customer is actually open-minded and receptive and they want to come to a solution not for any argument or fight or proving that the car dealer is wrong so in this way he was actually able to get lot of customers because the people who came with complaints felt the attitude of the car dealer is really good so they brought some of their friends to purchase car from this dealer very few human beings are logical and most of the human beings are having a preconceived notion about anything and everything let's say you love an actor hero now when i come and say that hero is very bad then obviously you are going to find all the excuses in the world to cling on to your old belief that this hero is a very good actor and hero you see we don't want to change because somebody told that we are wrong we are ready to change our beliefs according to our own wish we are ready to change our emotions according to our own wish but we are not ready to change when somebody tells us because 
when they say and when we do it is like they are superior to us and no human being feels like they are inferior to anybody have you noticed when your friend comes and tells his personal uh, challenges at home automatically we start judging him we start thinking he is right no he is wrong he is a uh, stupid uh, can you see we automatically judge without even thinking what is happening from his side you know we are not able to see from his shoes if we can change this attitude and stop judging others and think from their eyes see from their eyes then most of our problems can be sorted out there was a yarn processing company and there was a lady who was in charge of all the employees and their salaries and incentives now earlier that plant was handling only two or three yarns but now since there was a huge development they were handling some 11 to 12 yarns so she wanted to increase the salary and incentives so that the work gets done from the workers she created a plan she went to the management and she was trying to prove that the system which the management was having is wrong and she was trying to prove what system she created is right and you know what happened to the result of that meeting she miserably failed she was only trying to prove what she was saying is right then she thought maybe i should change the tactics then she was thinking for some time and when she was ready she called for another meeting now in this meeting she did not prove that she was right she was talking with the people making the other people open up their mouth and speak their own thoughts and at a subtle place and time she was giving some hints where they themselves come up with an idea which actually relates with her idea after this now she gave her presentation which resonated with all the other people basically she made others to speak her idea now since she is giving the idea which is belonging to other people according to others mind now they felt no this is my idea yes let's welcome this can you see when we understand the human psychology we can get everything done and we can influence speak influence people in a very easy way so never point out others mistakes and always see try to see from others point of view with this i'm ending this video do you think this content can be applied in your life let me know i'll be very happy with any example if you can let me know in the comment box it will be very very benefiting for me and for other people as well so as always sharing is caring bye